at the core of who you are. You are a genius at the core, at the center of who you are as a soul, as a divine being. You are a genius at that core. What happens in life when you're a kid and very early on it happens, you start picking up all this dirt from life and what you don't do is drop it. You get dirt on you from something bad happening to you or something bad you've done to someone or some bad situation you witnessed. You pick this dirt up and you carry it around and you say, this this is my dirt. This is who I am. That plane crash I saw, that awful thing I saw happen in my home, that abuse that I've taken, that thing that I did to someone else, that's who I am. That's me. I did that. And you own that dirt and you get a sense of who you are through that dirt. And that dirt obscures the purity of who you really are. Because you were placed here, you came here to witness life as it is. You came in a pure form. And the truth is that nothing that you see or do or feel in life can really dirty up the divine being that you are, the spiritual life that you have. And so from a practical standpoint of view, none of the baggage you have defines who you are as long as you let it. If you let the baggage you have define who you are, which most of us do, then the baggage you have will define who you are. So the idea is to live a pure life because genius comes out of purity. Genius comes out of that childlike creativeness of looking at the world with wonder and saying, wow, what is this? What can this do? That childlike wonder of not being scared of what's going to happen, of not worrying about the results of what happens, but just picking things up and messing around with them and seeing what happens. That's where genius comes out of that childlike, pure vision of the world where anything's possible and a desire to learn about how the world works. The baggage we pick up, the impurities that we let go to our soul, those get in the way of genius. I've seen these for myself. I had a ton of baggage and I thought just because I got good test scores and because I could do things easily and learn them easily in life, I thought that meant I was a genius. And I was always a genius at the core. But if you look back at my work before I started going through the steps I show you, this 28-day program I put together for you, Before I started doing this in my own life, it was very hard to look at anything I'd done and see where there was any genius in it. I was more just following along with the story in my head and the story the world had for me. Genius comes from that childlike point of view where you don't have a story. You just look around at the world and do things and that's where original creativity comes out of. That pure, fresh look at life. Is seeing the computer as if you've seen it for the first time and not remembering and not being burdened by those thousands of times you've seen it before and the thought that you know exactly how it already works. So genius comes out of a pure state and before I worked to get purity back into my life, it was very hard for me to do any good original work. I more recycled what I'd already seen and just reiterated what I'd already done. There was not much genius in what I did. I was opportunistic. I did some clever things. I've had a good life. I've had a lot of education. But at the same time, those things aren't genius. You don't need a good life. You don't need an education. You don't need most anything from the world except a pure, open heart that looks out at the world and plays with things and messes around with things and tries new things and sees how things are and how they might be. A pure heart is all that is required at the core of being a genius. 
Now, practically, there's lots of other things that go along with that in our world. And so that's why there's 28 days instead of just one. But this one day is just as important as each of the others, and especially in the aspect of purity. Lots of things I go through with you are really about purifying yourself. So today we talk specifically about purity, of cleansing, of dropping all those negative ideas you have about yourself, of letting go of the burdens you have on your learning, on your interactions with the world. So what I'll do next is talk about in the basics how to recognize those burdens and then how to go about dropping them because you can't do anything to become more pure if you don't see all the ways in which you are currently feeling impure. If you don't see all the baggage and the dirt that you are claiming, you are saying, this is mine, because that's what I did. I had all this dirt in my life, and I said, this is mine, this is mine, this is who I am, as if they were things in my house that I owned. I literally had things in my house that I owned that were symbolic of that dirt that I felt on my soul. And those were mine. That's mine. And in order to do anything, those first must be recognized. And you have to see, oh, this is getting in the way. This is hurting me. This was something bad that happened to me that I've held onto in one way or another. And now I can drop it and be free of it. So the things that happen to us tend to put us in a prison. In a prison where we feel like we are all of the things that have happened to us. And we are limited by all the things that have happened to us. That we are no longer pure, but that we are simply a function of who we've been. And being pure is a state of not being anything. You are nothing. And that's what I try and be is nothing. When people say, oh, I really like how you are, I think you're great, or I I really like this about you. What you like about me is the nothing, the space that's there for you to be yourself, for you to discover yourself. What you like is that somewhat of a drone approach to life I try and have where I'm just here to help. I'm not anything. I'm not anyone. And that's purity. I'm just here to see what's going on. And that's all. And that's a great peaceful way to live. So now I'll talk to you more about how I've recognized all of the dirt and burdens in my life and how I've went about purifying myself from those to let the core of my inner genius roam free and be free in life. Because that is a great gift to have. And so I want that to be a gift you have. So thank you. And let's see what's next.